Today, we are going to start a new series here in my channel, and I'm going to call it Nurses in Action. So what is this all about? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell for you to get updated for all my future uploads. By the way, my name is Raymond, your Pinoy is here in Auburn. Okay, team is up. Hello, hello. So today, we are going to start a new series here in my channel, and I'm going to call it Nurses in Action. So what is this all about? Well, the primary goal of this series is to put the spotlight to those nurses who are working here in Ireland. So basically for them to share their working experience, their working environment, and the department we're in their working into. So this is episode one, and we feature emergency department nurse. So we're gonna do a Zoom conference. Let's begin. Okay guys, so welcome back. And as I promised guys, I, I am joined with one of the ED nurses here in Ireland, and he's one of my friends as well. I have here Jose Rafael Tirante. But, uh, Baguna, thank you for I know, inviting me for this vlog. Here in Ireland, kasi Rafael na yung pangalan ko. Eh, but okay. they call me Rafa or Rafael or... But, kunwari, back in the Philippines, they just call me JR. I see. Since Rafael yung pangalan mo, are they calling you Rafael? Kasi sabi ni Rafael ang, ano, eh, ang pronunciation ng Rafael dito. Are they calling you the same thing? Or Rafael talaga? Raphael. Yeah. <laughs> Ganong this is the first episode of Nurses in Action. Okay, so you were my first guest and thank you so much sa yung time. Alam ko, duty ka, mamayang gabi. And I'm just yep. so thankful. So, brief introduction lang about yourself. First of all, I'm Jose Rafael Kiran. I, uh, you can call me Rafa. I'm from the Philippines, uh, particularly in Quezon City. I'm 30 plus years old. Plus. <laughs> Still in the calendar, yeah. ba? <laughs> Currently working here in Ireland for almost two years now. You you mentioned that you were from Quezon City. Hindi naman affect ng bagyo, no? Yeah, good thing naman. Na medyo matas naman yung lugar namin dun sa mismong area namin. And... I see. So, nandito ka for two years, but how many years you ha have you been a nurse? 11 to 12 years. 11 and a oh. half years or 12 years. Almost 12 years okay. um, working experience. And particularly, I'm working in ED. It's full-fledged ED. So I worked before in the Philippines for almost five years in Mahati Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Went to um, Dubai, Dubai, UAE. Oh, for Middle East five years, Yes, for almost five years, five years as well. And then I fly over here just last 2019. Yeah, mm -hmm. January of 2019. So for, from the start, talagang ED nurse ka na? Or have you been working? to different areas then before? No, when I started in Mahatibad, I was an ED nurse and then that's the only thing that I know. Can you mention where exactly your hospital? Is that allowed? Or kung saan ka nalang lugar dito sa Ireland, maybe? I think that's... Uh... Um, I'm currently here in um, Laos County, catchment area ng bandang north I see. ng Ireland. We're under RCSI. We're in, I think it includes Beaumont, um, Connelly yeah, yeah. Hospital. Okay, so pag usapan natin basically is all about the your experience as an ED nurse dito sa Ireland. Uh -oh. Okay, so walang pathology ha. Sabi ko kasi yung determine mong bones ng ano ng ng ating body. Baka ba mo ako din magbigay mo kung pathology? Nag RCSA ka ba or adaptation yung tinake mo? Yes. Honestly, for me, when I came here, I don't have. I mean, I did not undergo adaptation nor I did not take RTSI. Wow, automatic I, registration! Ah, uh, ako <laughs> When I received my uh, decision letter, so it was a pin already. If you would ask me what are, what did I do or what, kung ano yung mga requirements for that, I don't have any idea at all. Yeah. So, sabi lang, ay, pagod na to. <laughs> but one quick question, wala, do, you wala. Have, do you have masters? Wala, wala. <laughs> wala, okay. You know what? Perfect example ka. Kasi marami nagtatanong, you know, by any chance, mga register ba sila kaagad? But, you know what? You are a perfect example. Oh, Ikaw na. Ako lang. <laughs> okay. Hindi. Yung, I mean, lucky lang siguro na nagkaroon ako ng pin. It's very pros and cons para, para sa akin. Ha. The, the positive thing about it is because 
you already had a pin. So license ka na. So you don't need to be afraid of going back home. Baka hindi ka exactly. Or yes, yes. The, the hard part there is also you need to prove yourself immediately. Pagpasok mo, they, they think that, because for us in our hospital, we're not doing RTS, but adaptation. So I could see like, I have a bat- batch mate where in, we are in the same area. Na meron talagang mga clinical facilitator who will yes. ask them per, yes. per week or for, oh, how are you doing? How are you coping? Are you doing well? What are your ganyan ganyan? Ako wala nga nga. Parang, and then I have a preceptor, but most of the time, hindi ko siya kapasama sa, sa schedule. So, yes. floating, so floating, floating ka. Ang dala ko is experience. Eh. Hindi naman, I mean, it might be the dif- it might be a different area. Yes. It might be a different place. But cases might be the same. It's just this, the difference will be protocols or kung ano yung mismong ano ng hospital. And I think major advantage mo din kasi you're in a, tama ka naman, you're not gonna think of anything na. So you're not gonna undergo, yeah, you're, you're not gonna complete anything, you know, so case presentation or whatever. And congratulations for having that kind of journey. Yeah. Uh, alam mo one of a kind yung mga ganyan. To be honest, one of a kind. Nothing to be um, jealous about. Parang mm-hmm. By chances or by faith. Pero kung kumagay, adaptation ka, also do, do your thing. Can you just tell me just like a typical day? Sa duty ni Rafa. For example, long day ka. So how how is it going? Like from the start of your shift up to the end. Typical day. Siyempre, ang hirap bumangon sa umang. <laughs> we have allocations. In emergency, as always, there are different areas. You have the resource or critical area. You have the triage area. You have the majors area. And then you have also minors. Mm-hmm. So it depends. Our, and also we have CDU here in our in our hospital. So it depends where you will be in depending on allocation for staffing we have different colors like blue mm. green like skill skill mix thing okay so not everyone can be in resource not everyone can be in triage ah, so is that something that you need to learn or you have to do yeah, the course before going that color or it depends on sa capabilities i'm not hindi ko masyado sure kung ano yung mismo okay. criteria but, no worries. but for sure like if you would go for resource most Ano naman kasi dapat prerequisite for you to have an ECLS license. Yes, okay. yeah. And then if you Makes are, sense. if you're doing a, yeah, if you're doing a, uh, para, um, triaging, you need to have a triage training as well. Mm-hmm. Sobrang daming pasyente, lalo na for majors area. And then, sabi ko nga, it's like a catch basin, mm-hmm. um, sa north, like the small hospital, they will refer it to our lady of Lourdes if need more attention or treatment like and i'm pretty sure there's like plethora of cases you you handled can you name a few here in ireland most commonly kasi ang cases natin is elderly related cases mm-hmm. or respiratory cases related most patients are having copd having heart problems for us kasi, uh, we are trauma trauma parang facility okay here so we can do like fractures yung mga minor injuries like that so Yun yung mga common things na na release naman. And here, you know, mas marami rin yung mga detox, for detox, for yeah, substance abuse. Yeah, substance abuse. mga ganun din, no? Substance abuse, yeah. So yung sa staff allocation na lang, uh, usually, kunwari, nasa yellow ka, ikaw yung yellow, mga ilang staff kayo doon na magtutulungan? Like, oh, sorry. Uh, like, for example, it, usually the majors area. So mm-hmm. we have, four of us will be there, but okay. yung bed ko will be five. So, doon ka na. Yun na yung sa club uh, mo, kumbaga. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then, there's, there will be sometimes opposite. The difference kasi sa ED, it's coming and going. Yeah. Not, not, patients will not be staying there for the whole shift, di ba? If, if honestly, pag ganun, mas masaya eh. Uh-huh. Kung hindi stay siya. Kasi, uh, same patient, yeah. What, yeah. If, what if yung, yung, yung bed mo is the coming and going yeah. na, na room? So, refill ka ng refill, nakakapa, nakakapagod yeah. That's yeah. the right turn yung turnover. So, nakakapagod talaga siya pag ganyan. And I'm just curious and I'm pretty sure yung mga aspiring nurses din, yung mga co-staff natin. So, he, I'm pretty sure we have some Filipino staff there. Here in Drogheda, particularly, we have a big um, Filipino community over here. Mm-hmm. And in the emergency itself, we are more more or less 50% of the population are Filipino. Really? So, masaya. Yeah. Masaya. And then, uh, the, the the usual staff or other nationalities, of course, the locals, the Irish, 
We have also Indians. We have also from Africa. So it must have been like a very fun shift kapag iba-ibang nationalities, yeah. no? Because they are sharing yeah, different yeah. cultures and, you know, their, their practice as well is kind of uh, different. To- so, yeah, it's nice na ka-work mo is marami ring Pinoy. Mm-hmm. Because it's your comfort zone. You can all, you can, you can speak, you can express what you, whatever you want. You can rant. Parang mas madali. Ang nangyari is we're being covering parang nag-stuck tayo dun sa comfort zone. Pero hindi mo na, parang hindi mo na rin nabibigyan ng pansin yung ibang lahi na mas na-appreciate mo sila. Firing Filipinos will be coming here. Don't be afraid if ever wala masyadong Pilipino or what. It's also your opportunity to have more friends and to embrace their culture. Yeah, kaya pag medyo na, na lipat ka sa konting, you know, sa shift na maraming ibang lahi, medyo parang doon ka na culture shock actually. Yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right. There's something to learn. There's something to experience. Yeah. And one thing, we are not in the Philippines, by the way. Mm-hmm. We are in we are in a different country. So expect that you will work with other nationalities. Being an ED nurse, what are the um, qualifications maybe or any special courses or trainings that they ask you for before coming here? Is there anything? Dapat Aside dapat from the ACLS, mga <laughs> dapat kulot. <laughs> years of experience, yung usual lang, yung bed capacity, years of experience. With regards for the trainings and what, so they will just ask if ever it's updated or not. Because pagdating mo naman dito, gagawin mo rin naman siya. Mm-hmm. So also have like an HSE land. Na yes, mga courses. All of those, yeah. yeah. Okay. Children's first, like mm-hmm. that. Ma- I, I, aseptic I, non, I non-touch uh-oh. technique, mga ganan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yung mga I, IV, IV therapy, Good point. IV insertion, yeah. and... Blood, blood bank. Hemo, uh, hemo blood, vigilance. Uh, oh, uh, hemo vigilance, yeah. yeah. Hemo vigilance, like that. Like BLS ka na rin. Like yeah, BLS, BLS, ka. BLS yeah. yeah. I think it's part of the initial, sa amin kasi it's part of the initial orientation. The yeah, sa amin din. Yeah. Yeah. Um, balikan lang natin, two years ago nung nagpunta ka dito, yung mga first few months, ano yung mga major adjustments mo being an ED nurse? First is climate-wise. I came okay. here January. Okay. I came Medyo here January. Winter pa yun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the peak of winter. Okay. And I came from Dubai. So I flew from, from Dubai, I, uh, from Dubai, directly here. So the thing naman sa area itself, I think one thing is language. Communication. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. yeah, communication. Because you know how to speak in English. However, they have different accents. I mean, they mga babibilis. Yes, And also how, how they say certain medications, for example, like yeah. yung paracetamol, di ba? Dito, it's like paracetamol. Something like that, no? Yeah. Even some antibiotics. Exactly. <laughs> Sasabihin ko pala. <laughs> Totoo. Keptrioxone. Ah, Mga ganun. <laughs> yeah, and then also the names of the Irish. Yeah, yeah. I I remember I was calling one name. I, I'm telling, Ayofi. Ayofi. <laughs> <laughs> wala walang sumasagot ayosi ayos wala sumasagot ifa pala yun know? ifa yeah ifa ano din ifa yun sabi ko ganun parang nasanay rin nasanay yung tenga mo eh yes hanggang i mean at a times goes by parang masasanay siya na ah okay 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 so mm-hmm. yun how about patient care Second, is it the same care, it's quite heavy here, here. oh yes. that's interesting yeah. Because, yeah it's quite heavy in a sense physically because marami dito is like bedbound okay. elderly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, patient care as well here, medyo, medyo challenging because here, dito natin masabi yung pinag-aralan natin sa nursing, yung holi- holistic approach. Holistic approach, yes. Before, ang sa akin, pag discharge ka, kaya si Hoda, okay, discharge, wala akong pakilam sa'yo, uwi ka na, uh, kailangan ko ng bed. That, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. But here, it's holistic approach because you need to know also the social welfare wel- welfare of the patient. Yung condition niya, is, 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 does she or he lives alone? Yeah. Kung meron yeah. ba siyang home health? How, how does she walk? Whether it's with stick, with a frame. Especially if she is discharged and then you think that she's not unable to manage it on her own, mm-hmm. you need to refer, I mean, you need to inform your CNMs or your in charge so at least pwede tayo makapag-refer sa kanya for social worker, for MDTs. Like yeah. That. So it's very very holistic. For in terms of cases na adjustment, I think it's more on psych issues. Mm-hmm. So we're not we're not used to it. It's, Sa Pilipinas kasi parang medyo discreet, de ba? Yung ganyan mga yeah. issues. Pero dito kasi if you have some some like mental health problem, as we call it, you can just go to 
the hospital and be treated. Yeah. You know? And you were you will be very taken care of well. It's hospital. Kunari medication. I, I might be aware about about it, like but mm-hmm. not commonly given as regular medication for us in the Philippines. Yeah, exactly. How about the COVID response? Naman? How's the response of your hospital, especially the emergency department? We started talaga struggling. Initially? Because we don't have, yeah, initially, because we don't have a system in place at that moment, trial and error and everything. Like, mm-hmm. for example, for us before, there's a certain place during that time, isa-isa lang kami nandun. Ang gagawin mo, gagawin mo muna lahat or what. Tapos kalabas ka, maghahanap ka ng doktor para kung sinong titingin sa mga pasyente mo. Eh, pag sunod-sunod na, ang hirap niya, tapos ikaw lang mag-isa. We have a problem for that before, yung scarcity of CDC. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're following CDC. CDC uh, na, yeah. <clears throat> na guidelines. During that time, paranoid ka. Tapos tinikin mo sa Pilipinas, well, out. Astronaut sila ako, so to strap, so to surgical mask. Toto, toto. Now naman, it, it's, it gets better, I suppose. Yeah. Um, mas may system siya. Maraming struggles, pero nagkaroon ng system. Mas aware na tayo. Right. Mas exposed right. na tayo. Yeah. So, and I think all the hospitals uh, experience the same thing. Sa, sa hospital din namin, yeah. ganyan din. Dealing oh, with yeah. patients, ba- hindi, hindi naman yeah. bawal, but it's not really like a practice. Unlike sa Pilipinas, yeah. di ba? Or sa, sa Middle East, mask ka talaga, wala ka dyan. Initially talaga, hindi, hindi talaga pinagmamas. And then, nung nag, nag-start na yung COVID, yan, pinag-surgical mask, now we are using FFP3 or the FFP2. I have a question for you. Were you inflicted by the virus? No. No. Okay. Okay. Kasi may mga no. ibang staff din kasi na nag-positive. I have a few friends who, who got inflicted by the virus. But they're doing well Marami. now. So marami namang positive patients that I've been exposed to. Na, honestly, initially, we treated them as clean patients. Yes. And when the results came came in, it's positive. Or yeah. mga sex na positive patients na, I mean, I was being exposed. And yeah. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Huh, thank you talaga. And how how did how did you cope with that? May mga certain regimen ka bang ginawa? I was so anxious. Parang sobrang nabaliw ako during April, May. May, may mga Pilipinong na, nag-positive here. One of them also is a close friend of mine who has been a bit critical na nakakita up by pop. Yeah. Also my housemate was hmm. positive as well. You will hear friends or friend of a friend or something you know from the Philippines na 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 namatay or whatever so parang mentally mentally para kang kinakain so i uh, i stopped checking my online yeah I social mean, media accounts and all social media yeah sure. and yeah, yeah yun ano lang inom lang ako ng before i mean until right now it's more on vitamin too big by the way um dealing with your co-workers uh since different nationalities yung mga nakakasalubuha mo most of the time. So, how is it dealing with them? And dealing uh, with your co-kababayan co- nurses, may ano ba? May crab I, mentality ba dito sa Ireland? Honestly, uh, crab mentality, I think it's not only in the Philippines. It's everywhere, maybe. Competition, it, you can feel it naman na merong competition by nationalities or what. May, may iba lang silang culture. Meron silang ibang paniniwala. Pero, Kumbaga, malalaman mo naman yun. Malalaman mo kung pwede, paano kayo mag-design. Ano lang siya, gamayan lang. Gamayan yeah, lang na. And so, just be yourself. And as long as you don't um, hurt other people's feelings, you know how to respect. Mm-hmm. It's enough. Especially for those who are new. Um, have a self-confidence. Mga Pilipino, mahilig ngaw-ngaw. <laughs> yes, Pag yes. No. Naman, Pagating naman ang confrontation or meeting. Kameme. Kameme. It's not like in the Philippines if senior, senior. Senior yes, ako. Yes. Totoo. And also, um, napansin ko lang dito kasi na most of the people here, um, yung mga staff, yung mga nurses, they're pretty much professional. So, maski bago ka, for as long as you presented yourself very well, yes. na alam mo yung ginagawa mo. Yun naman yung unang-una eh. Yung alam mo yung ginagawa mo. And you can really say something. Alam mo at and the people here, especially mga Irish, they really listen to you, and yes. uh, will try to address whatever concerns you have. Totoo yeah. yun, totoo yeah. yun. Um, since two years kana dito, so how did Ireland change your life? In many ways, uh, I've learned to be more expressive. Eto na appreciate mo is simple life, like di ba giving cards? Yung umupo ka lang sa park maarawan ka lang, ang saya mo na. Medyo malungkot naman talaga yung lala na sa panahon natin. It's winter time, it's very cold, it's so gloomy. Pero naalala mo, di ba, nung pumunta tayo ng week low, yes. umuulan lagi sa ta- 
tayo ba dapat, di ba tayo dapat na mag-adjust? Kasi yun na yan, umuulan, may uh, galamig. Uh, uh, ito na siya, ito na siya talaga mismo. So, anong gagawin natin, di ba? Papakain ba tayo nun? Si, ikaw yung gumawa ng paraan, di ba? Ikaw yung mag-adjust. For mm-hmm. you to be happy, it's always a choice. It's always a choice for you to be happy. Uh, financially, it's not that big difference naman yung with regards sa, nung nasa, nasa ibang bansa ako, nasa Dubai ako. Yun naman siya, mas, siguro, mas malaki ng konti. Because, Ito nga, it depends on your working experience. Yes. Good thing rin siguro, natapos ko na lahat ng utang ko. Kaya, bas nakakapag-ipon sure. ako ngayon. Introspection, we're in self-awareness. Yun yung, yeah. kasi, me time ka eh. Parang, it's your me time. Mm-hmm. So, yung pinaka-baon ko for 2020 especially, it's introspection, self-awareness. Ah, diba? And Ibo. I thank you dapat, ang susunod. <laughs> yeah, no, Ibo. I think this will be my last question for you. And to all the aspiring nurses, na gusto mo maka, you know, makapag-work dito sa Ireland as emergency department nurse. What do you think is the, the best tip or advice that you can give them? Know your purpose. Always know your purpose. All, always know your goal. Kasi yung iba baka nahihirapan sila. Kasi like for example, for IELTS, they fail, they fail, they fail. But if you put it in your mind and in your heart that you want to go here, the universe and God will, will, line will follow. Up. Parang ganoon. Parang ganoon. Strive lang. Laban lang. Like, prepare well then, di ba? Oo, yeah. Pre- prepare din. Siyempre, maging aware ka kung ano yung weakness mo. Exactly. So, yun yung i-work out mo. <clears throat> That's okay? a good point, yeah. Try not to compare. There is different things that we have in the Philippines. Iba rin yung Ireland. Try to embrace kung ano yung meron ka kasi it will let you grow. Yun lang. That's true. That's and true. I. And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Rafa, sa yung time na binigay sa amin. Especially for, for my subscribers and aspiring nurses. Okay? So, thank you for gracing this time. And I really enjoyed I have extracted a lot of information from you. Before before we end this, Rafa, do you want to endorse anything or to plug in your, if you have any channel or Facebook page or whatever? IG, if you Wala, want. Nagsabi naman yung buong pangalan ko, yun naman naman yung pangalan ko sa Facebook. No, I don't have YouTube, but then I don't know. If, let's... But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. Once again, Rafa, thank you sa panahon mo na binigay thank sa you, akin. Thank you for, yeah. Yeah. Thank you and for the opportunity as well. You're welcome, you're welcome. And guys, this is just the first episode of our series, Nurses in Action, featuring Eden Nurse, Sir Rafael Curante. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and please... If you haven't done it yet, please like don't forget to subscribe. And of course, like my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond123. So I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye.